From the big name corporations to decades old neighborhood favorites, businesses in San Diego are being hit hard by the pandemic. Even as life slowly gets back to normal, many business owners are stuck with tough decisions about the road ahead. News A's Steve Price has a closer look at the ongoing economic impacts of the crisis. More and more businesses are getting the green light from the county to reopen their doors, like gyms just last week. But check this out. At this 24-hour fitness, the doors remain closed, and they will stay that way. The company making the tough decision to close this location and three others for good, and they're not alone. Just a few blocks away, Whisk and Ladle, one of the county's most well-respected farm-to-table restaurants, has also shut its doors for the last time after serving customers for more than 12 years. The sign on the front door says it all. After much deliberation about how to reopen and survive in the COVID era, we have concluded there is simply no real viable path forward for Whisk and Ladle. We thought we saw a light at the end of the tunnel, but it Mary turned out that was a train. Mary Licomitros <laughs> tried to survive through the pandemic, but just couldn't make it. Troy's family restaurant had been in Claremont for 46 years. And as every month goes by, the bills just don't stop. Rent doesn't stop. The, the insurance on the restaurant doesn't stop. It all just keeps piling on. Soup Plantation has also said it will not reopen. It's just too tough to make its buffet style concept work during the pandemic. Mother Saloon in Ocean Beach is also closing for good, putting 22 employees out of work. OB, thank you. Amazing time. Me and my wife and the staff. We love you guys. Thank you. And it's not just restaurants and bars. Boomers permanently shut down two of its locations in our county, including this one in Kearney Mesa. COVID-19 wiped out Detour Salon and its 22-year history. Pier 1 is closing all 541 of its doors, including seven in San Diego County. Victoria's Secret just announced it's closing 250 stores, but hasn't said yet which ones. Unfortunately, financial analysts fear this is just the beginning, especially if there's a second wave of outbreaks later this year. Their message, if you like a business, support it sooner rather than later to help ensure it survives. In La Jolla, Steve Price, News 8.